This is my executive, our executive craftsman, Ron Richardson. Oh. Our 60 years old. Collective speaking, yeah. Um, talking to me about the Aztec Lansing um, audio system that he's got. And, uh, you know, we finally have sound with our videos. Now let's go ahead and. Who is this, Ron? This is Dave Matthews? Bruce Horn. Bruce Horn. Give us a tour. Tell me what you're doing. Show show me the house. Okay. Um, well, the main thing, this is her favorite little room right now. This, was, this is the biggest project. Okay. This is the sunroom. What'd you do? It was uh, some kind of beigey yellow. We primed all the uh, walls and windows. With uh, oil primer. With oil primer. Because? And because it had oil base on it oil. good It'd okay with oil. so it's slick so i see the wall the walls were well if you don't do that what happens i mean just for the millions and millions of people that watch these videos for us um if you put a latex paint on an oil-based paint it will peel so ron being the brilliant craftsman that he is realized that very immediately because he tested the walls and you found oil so he went ahead and covered that with an oil-based primer so now we can paint latex and do that transition from the oil paint this is the porch, so the ceiling has two coats, the walls will have two coats, a lot of trim. This was the exterior of the house. This is actually metal windows. So you definitely got to do all the ways on those. Mm -hmm. And uh, the floor has got one coat of Sherwin Williams uh, floor paint, oil, a latex, acrylic latex floor oil paint. It has been primed with oil, a special oil, uh, base primer, not the kind you use on the wall. Okay. Uh, take a little longer to dry because of the humidity. Uh, this eventually will be checkerboards with kind of a grayish green checkers, 15 inch checkers. So you're, you're going to tape it into a tape grid mm -hmm. and grid. you're going to actually make this floor like what, black and white? Uh, no, it'll be kind of a, kind of a rust. I've got, okay. I've forgotten the color. It was That's fine. Kind of a, Kind of a rusty color. That's gonna look not, not nice. Black, That's gonna look beautiful, nice. Beautiful color. And in fact, we're gonna do one of her uh, old, old vanities, the same color. Right. Yeah, there she is. There. It's, it's kind of a dark, but it's it's. So that's what it's gonna end up in a checker, which yeah, okay. Yeah, checkered. Uh, yeah, this is Boy, enduring bronze. It's bronze. Damn, it's just like it, right there. It, uh, yeah, yeah. Someone tall would be whacked. <laughs> yeah, let me see. If I, if Her it, goal for this room will be, me. she's going to have plants back here mostly. It's not really even a, maybe a plants in a rocker or a little wicker couch. <laughs> there we go. That fan is six foot two inches tall exactly. Okay, good. We are going to add, they have put a little bit of uh, base. This is very contemporary house. Everything's pretty straight lines. Yeah. We're going we're to add one right here going across, which sure. balance it out. Okay, good. And a yeah. lot of... A lot, of, a lot of layers, if you look at this, you've got this ledge, this ledge, this ledge, this ledge, this ledge, this ledge. Yeah. So it's many, many layers of a lot of painting. Sure. That's going to be, be pretty. Okay. I like, I would live in this room because, I mean, the outdoors is it just is gorgeous. And, um, you know, it's one of our, actually our press release this month that we do one on a monthly basis to let the world know the things we do is um, taking decks to enclosed porches much like this. And we've actually got two in construction right now that, um, you know, people just want a year long livable space. And then oftentimes um, would take a deck off the front edge of this so that you can have an outdoor opportunity. Oh, but. Okay. You got indoors. You're painting inside, you got plastic everywhere. Simple, simple, simple thing here. People can, uh, yeah. she's going to paint her own room. We have a little sweat equity. I'm, yeah. did her nail pop, so all she does is patch them and she'll be able to So do you, that. you were actually able to come in here and prep the wall so the homeowner can save some yep. money and do her own paint no, job. No charge. Okay. <clears throat> and you didn't bill for it. Yes, wow. One nail. That, but that's, I did this in 10 minutes. I'd okay. Pull all the nails out to move the yeah. mirrors and okay. hit all the nail pops. Sure. Well, you know that's that's a great trade-off because you know we are uh, we're able to to help with so many different things. Removing this baby, painting this room, 
Okay. And this looks, this is all here, so it's going to have to be primed. I see a little shiny, shiny stuff. Oh, oh man, we got it. This cabinet's going to be painted to bronze. Okay. I, I didn't realize that that's an insert. Yeah. Taking this guy out, passing this wall. That's the smallest sink base I've ever yeah. seen in my life. It's. Look at hey, that. This is a full bath. This is a shower. Wait a minute. Let's, I, let's I trade places. Not, Let I me get in here. <laughs> it is, all right, wait a minute. It is a. This house is built in 57. This is a 5 foot, 5 inch full bath. And we're put, putting a new light fixture. Okay, well, it's bigger than 5 foot 5 because you've got the shower enclosure here. How does this open? Okay, I see. I see. All right, there we go. And that's uh, that's got to be a 20, 20 inch sink base. But uh, um, well, I think colors walk, walk through memory lane on some of these colors. <laughs> what year was this yeah. home built? Uh, 57. 57. Look, and you got the uh, indirect lighting. Architects has built like a tank. Mm -hmm. got, I think it's got a steel beam in the uh, room Catalina's working. For real. See, that must be a really nice span. Um, well, all these homes are yeah. 750 to a million. This thing, downstairs, full apartment. Yeah. Full game room down here. It's yeah. 3,400 okay. square feet by the time. This was one light. Yeah. Okay. And this right here is the only thing holding those two up when <laughs> I pulled it down. Huh. So we're able to do things like that. Uh, yeah. A little extra thing we did, our door was sticking, so we went ahead and just turned yeah. it down a little bit more. Okay. Put our plate back. Good, good. This now is uh, the light switch. There was a hanging light here. It's now gone. Uh, it was a, uh, it's now in the junction box, completely closed up, good. capped off. Good, okay. That one, and we had the light at the front. Okay. That is one beautiful piece of walnut. <laughs> That is a beautiful piece of walnut. I believe this uh, is an I beam. See that? That's that's not plaster or sheetrock. Like that's uh, plywood on that. That that does. It looks like an enclosed. Enclosed I beam. Make piece of steel. Sure is. How about that? Yeah. She's gonna take this. We gotta prime this puppy. Yeah. Got some special Benjamin Moore primer for concrete. And I mean brick. Yeah. Anyway, she's going to be turned white. Okay. Okay. That's pretty much it. We're going to do exterior. We're uh, something wrong. Something was done with their door here. See the square in there in the circle. Yeah. I'm going to sand that real good and bondo it and get it smooth like the rest of the door. Sure. Okay. That's possible. Okay. And this, this is painted exterior, yeah. just the window trims. Okay. I mean. Yeah, they're kind of like my house. It's a solid brick home. You have window trim only. And, and one of the things I did, even though I've got 1948 wood, is I put hardy plank around it. Yeah. And then I painted it with Sherwin-Williams duration. But this yeah, you've got that old failed, uh, uh, failed window glaze. We'll some of that. Oh, man. All right. So all we're doing is just the brick mold and the base. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's it. Nothing up there. And over here is where uh, Randy's going to have a quote when he gets the plans from the architect. Okay. A pergola right here. That'll be nice. A straight pergola right here. Good. And okay. Randy suggested she not attach it to the house with posts. Yeah. Have it in there. He's absolutely right. We try to stay away from homes and build all of our exterior structure standalone so it doesn't impact homes with the water. And this wouldn't be impacted because it's brick. But uh, okay. now it's time to treat the craftsman how to do video on this thing. All right. Now that I got it, I never did because I didn't have a computer I could play it on. Sure. Now I got one. Okay. Hey, well, my new, my new <clears throat> Dell. Man, I love that thing. Smokes. Good. It is a good one. Sounds great. Let me uh, let me go in here and let's see if we can't. Yeah, we're taking her old lights. This is <laughs> this is old timey recess. Look at these things. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're. Uh, about the camera so at least it, we can watch Catalino paint the ceiling. Uh, Alright, we got that thing. We got on. Set back in time. 
good job. And uh, all of our tools and equipment.